What will the new year bring as far as auto body consolidation? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> It's time for another consolidation market update. Let's start with a bird's eye view of the history of consolidation to set the stage for where we are now. The consolidation of the collision market has played out like a television sitcom for over 20 years. During the beginning years, the initial consolidators were working on designing and creating the modeling that we've watched evolve into what it is today, a large platform of corporate owned collision centers offering nationwide service. Let's look at a quick snapshot of the history of consolidation. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, the consolidators were starting to form. The initial formation started in Texas and California. The initial consolidators that entered the market were Caliber, Gerber, true to form and Service King. For years, paint jobbers, industry speakers, and others were telling the industry, it's coming, you need to be prepared, and they're going to put you out of business. In 2013 and 2014, the Big Bang happened. It was at this time that we as an industry first started to see that body shop consolidation was really happening. Charlotte and Washington DC and the surrounding area, Ground Zero and the first markets for consolidation, are hit with the storm. Since the storm started in 2013 and 2014, there has been intense growth and the storm has steadily been growing in intensity for the last 18 to 24 months. Over the last 10 years, consolidation has truly had a lot of twists and turns. Some of those are classic collision forms and grows like wildfire with a current shop count of over 200 locations. Crash Champions forms and is one of the biggest new kids on the block with over 580 locations. Service King, one of the first big players, struggled for years to the point where Crash Champions took them over in 2022. Newly created known consolidators that have private equity backing form, some of which are large 100 and plus location operations, while others are smaller 5 to 20 location players. Newly created unknown consolidators form that purposely fly under the radar. Independent shop owners are jumping on the bandwagon, wanting to get a piece of the action and opening stores right and left, doing it their own way. Independent shops, both single and small MSOs, selling right and left for many reasons, including COVID, financials, stress, staffing challenges, remaining profitable in the face of inflation, and natural attrition. In our next video, we're going to look into our crystal ball and discuss when the consolidation trend might end. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.